glamour, wealth, art. This is how I'll describe the giant pocket you carry that you'll pay thousands of dollars for because Hortone's brand designer handbags don't just carry your money foldies or electronic talking calculator. No, they show the world that you are at the peak of fashion. Yes, carrying your giant pouch filled with pounds of decaying snack bars and forgotten receipts might cause nerve damage in your neck. It may create shooting pain down your arm, or maybe it's just causing your back and shoulder muscles to destabilize when you effortlessly toss that tote over your shoulder. But you are resilient and strong. You show your creativity and uniqueness with your Hortons tote. Because you spent the big bucks to get it. The big bucks that I demanded because skinny people who walk down a tiny strip of bar grating in New York or Milan say that it's worth it. But if you're not that, and you can't afford my designer Hortones handbags, that's okay too. Go ahead and buy the knockoff version. Yes, you can still have a nice stitched together animal hide or plant fluff sack for less money. Now it's just several hundreds of dollars instead of several thousands. That and the cost of a young child's youth because most knockoff handbags are made with child labor. Wait, what? Yes, you could use that excessive amount of money for charities to help those children, or you could simply be paying off massive amounts of debt you might be accumulating, spending money on overpriced shoulder luggage. But it's all worth it, so you can have a handbag that you splurged on, because you deserve to splurge and treat yourself at any price, according to me. You deserve not just my shoulder compressing tote, but lots of them in every color, because you can't carry the same handbag all the time, I've arbitrarily decided. Besides, how else would you carry things? The ergonomic backpack might be better for my back. You look like a slob. The fanny pack? Oh, that's hipster tourist nonsense. Pockets that fit things, like my wallet and phone. Mmm, big pockets are for men. That's another thing I just sort of decided, and the rest of the world rolled with it. Speaking of, don't forget to buy Hortone jeans, now with smaller pockets. They'll match one of your several Hortone purses perfectly because purses are for real women, strong women, beautiful women. So buy Hortone's designer purses. You'll look fashionable, sensually tilted from all the back strain, and you can be that strong female provider you were born to be. And carry my wallet when I need to go on a roller coaster or want to go swimming or just don't feel like carrying all of this around with me. You need one. You want one. All because purse makers like me make reusable garbage bags that you can sling over your shoulder and call beautiful. You lucky duck. We men sure wish we could wear purses. Hey, can I have a piece of gum? Oh, yeah, hold on. Sorry, it's ah, women always losing everything in their purses. I'm Roger, by the way. Hey guys, thanks for watching that. Hey, did you know that monogamous sexual relationships are actually a recent development in human history? I know that's the sort of thing you typically hear from a 50-year-old guy with a ponytail who thinks all naked bodies are beautiful, but as someone who finds the naked human body gross and repellent in most of its forms, I'm here to tell you that science and sociology and history surrounding sex are actually really interesting, even to a person who's never been to an orgy. Anyways, that's not just a the more you know style public service announcement, it's what our live podcast is about this month. So Saturday, February 11th, 7 p.m., me, Michael Swaim, Teresa Lee are going to be talking to Dr. Christopher Ryan, who wrote a fascinating book about what sex was like a long, long time ago when humans were just starting to, you know. Tickets are $7. They usually sell it pretty quickly, so click on the link somewhere on your screen now if that sounds interesting to you.